Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your electric dryer won't start, here are the top five most probable causes. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is normally located on the blower housing, although some dryer models have an additional fuse on the heating element. If the dryer overheats, the fuse will blow and cut off the power to the dryer. You can use a multimeter to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the part. If not, the fuse has blown and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of the thermal fuse is often caused by the venting system being clogged with lint. To improve airflow, we recommend cleaning out the vent at least once a year. The dryer won't start until the door is closed and engages the door switch. However, if the switch is defective, the appliance won't start even with the door shut. If the door switch tests negative for continuity, it will need to be replaced. If you press the start switch and hear a humming sound, then the switch is not at fault. If there is no sound, then the switch has probably failed. Again, you can use a multimeter to help determine if the switch has continuity or not. The drive motor drives the belt and operates the blower wheel. If there are no obstructions preventing the blower wheel from turning and the motor makes a humming sound, it's likely that the motor has failed and will need to be replaced. Some dryers have a belt switch that will prevent the dryer from starting if the drive belt has broken. Replace the broken belt with a new one and your dryer should be ready for use. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.